I would like to show you an amazing part of our planet, the underwater world. In it, you will discover unusual beauty and creatures you wouldn't imagine existed. Come with me as we descend into this world of magic and amazement. The Disco Clam guards the entry to this remarkable part of the world. Let me tell you about some of the interesting creatures that live here. Nudibranchs are snails without shells. They come in all sorts of shapes and colors. Their bright color is a warning to predators that they should not be eaten because they're poisonous. Nudibranchs get their poison from eating jellyfish, poisonous tunicates, stinging hydroids, and other poisonous creatures. The feather-like parts at the tail of the nudibranchs are their gills. They don't have eyes, but they can sense small odors using their rhinophores, which are the horn-like appendages at their front. Nudibranchs reproduce sexually. Each individual serves as both male and female at the same time. Sperm is passed through pseudopods, and after that they have eggs. Lots of eggs, like this nudibranch. And they have really cool names like Glossodorus, Chromodorus, and Nimbrotha. This is a flatworm. It's also very pretty and very poisonous. Speaking of poisonous, the bites of the blue ring octopus and banded sea crate are extremely toxic. They could kill you in a matter of minutes. But don't worry, they're not interested in you. Besides, the mouth of this sea crate is so small, it can only bite you between your fingers. Scorpion fish have poisonous spines. They wait in hiding for prey to happen by. These are leaf scorpion fish. You can't say Mother Nature doesn't have a sense of humor when you look at this dragonette. Even some types of lowly sea urchins can be spectacularly beautiful. This is a very rare type of octopus called a wonder puss. And wonderful it certainly is. The snake eel spends most of its time in the sand, waiting for its dinner to come to it. Did you know that some fish swim very poorly? Frogfish must wait quietly for their prey to come by. Some frogfish dangle a fleshy part of their body in front of their mouth. This looks a lot like a worm. And what fish can resist a tasty worm? And speaking of hiding, how's this for camouflage? Can you spot this ornate ghost pipe fish? The manta shrimp's front claws can either be spears or clubs. Either claw strikes with the speed of a 22 caliber bullet and with such force that it can break the dome port of an underwater camera or the side of an aquarium. It has one of the most elaborate visual systems ever discovered. And speaking of food, watch this flamboyant cuttlefish, Niela shrimp. The tip of its tongue has a grasping mechanism that grabs the prey. This worm secretes a sticky slime Small stuff sticks to the slime and the worm pulls the prey back with the mucus slime. 
The male seahorse incubates the babies in a special pouch until it's time for them to be reborn. Can you see the distended pouch on this daddy seahorse? Even the sea anemone are beautiful and have some unusual creatures associated with them. Of course, we've just scratched the surface of our amazing ocean. I hope you've enjoyed learning about some of the unusual creatures that are part of our precious ocean. And yet, we're messing this place up. Each year, we produce 300 million tons of plastic waste. About 7 million tons end up in the ocean each year. And consider this sobering fact. Plastics take 500 to 1,000 years to disintegrate, which means that every piece of plastic ever produced is still in existence today, with the exception of the small amount that has been incinerated. And even when the plastic disintegrates, it stays in small pellets that are also toxic to the marine environment. In the Pacific Ocean is an island of floating plastic the size of Texas, which is growing daily. We need to stop this plastic pollution now. What can you do? First, abandon the single-use container. Use multi-use shower gels. Take your own shampoo when you travel. Second, consider whether you really need bottled water. Americans throw away 35 billion plastic water bottles each year. Standards for purity for tap water are as high or higher than that for bottled water. And if you decide you can't live without filtered water, buy it in large quantities and refill your own water containers. Lastly, get and use reusable shopping bags. Over one million plastic bags are used each minute. This has to stop. The future of our remarkable marine world is in your hands. Choose wisely. Please choose wisely.